Hey guys, Mech Mike here with a little bit of an update on the Blackout XMR project. Uh, video up a few weeks ago there uh, on the channel here. Um, didn't look like much of anything when I uploaded it there. It's starting to come together. We finally got all the components in, all the parts in um, to get this thing uh, put together and uh, delivered to the customer. Fun little project. Again, this is an XMR mud build. Um, we've got the clutches ripped off of it. We've got a lot of components off it. And actually, it's starting to look like an ATV again. Uh, original mods, handlebar riser up here installed. I just basically put the handlebars, the wheels, the springs, um, the shocks back onto it so I could roll it over to my bench here and keep uh, keep plugging away, keep working on it. Rear end is still all ripped apart. We have a Yashimura pipe to put on there. Um, looks quite bare back there right now. Regulator hanging off the side. You can see the big nasty tires on the side. Again, we're running 31, 11 by 14 big wide tires with one inch uh, wheel spacers all the way around. This thing is going to sit really wide, really tall, be really stable. Um, just be a big looking unit when we're done. Big monster of a Can-Am. Uh, bead locks. Uh, they were they were a blue color to it. You can see they're black now. And that was the whole idea of this project is to take all the blue away from it and, uh, and black this Renegade all out. Um, and it's starting to come together, starting to look good. And like I said, this is just to the point where I've got the wheels on it and the, and the uh, shocks onto it. And I'm just rolling it over to my bench and going to start working on this rear end here. So a little later in the day, I've got the bumper on again. This bumper was blue, so it's black now. I have I have that Yashimura Can-Am exhaust installed into it. Now they really aren't supposed to fit the XMR chassis, so it just takes a little bit of, uh, little bit of work, a little bit of modifications to get it in there. Make sure the heat shield all goes in and everything installed a little bit tricky because you got to install the bumper and the pipe at the same time we have the rj rgbs rear rack installed that's a local local fellows that are welding that up and putting that in there that installed really nice and i started to header wrap the exhaust and it's going to get time get that get the exhaust all header wrap so that when i go to snorkel it everything runs nice and cool and when we put a, a little fuel tuner ejk fuel tuner on with that yashimura pipe it's going to make sure everything runs nice and cool. We don't have anything, any melted plastic happening, no popping. The engine performs per, performs how it should and everything's going to work uh, work correct. There's a good shot. 31 by 11 by 14 high lifter tires. Usually we do a skinny wide combo, but this is the wide combo all the way around, like I said. And this, when we do that, we have to make sure and run these one inch wheel spacers um, so that everything clears. A lot of hoses, all the vent hoses hanging off the front end there. I'm going to get ready to snorkel it, going to get ready to put the RGBS rad relocate on the front. This is the first time that I've done that. So we'll see how that's going to fit. And uh, just a few more things to get together before we can finally fire this thing up and see how it's going to run. So fairly easy to install that uh, rad relocate from RGBS. Uh, worked out really well. Four mounting points and it installed uh, really quickly, really easily. Um, I've got the screen glued in there. I've got the rad in there. I just have to plumb it and snorkel it really quick. Uh, do a fan override switch in there and get all that sorted out. My STM clutching is in there. Rage 3 uh, primary, tuner 2 secondary. I check the shimming on that and having a quick look here as I get ready to do some uh, plumbing and extend all the CVT intake, exhaust, and air intake up by that rad. Those The fellows that made the rad relocate, like I mentioned, also did that rear rack, and it looks really good. And I'm thinking I might pull the spark arrestor on the Yashimir here when I fire it up, um, just to see the sound level difference with it in and with it out. Uh, so gonna play around with that and get that EJK tuner installed. Guys, this was basically two days on the project. Um, I'm gonna get back to work here and get this thing fired up, get the snorkels glued on, and get this thing out for the end of the week, I hope. Uh, second battery kit to come in too and a few more things. Thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned.